Eight days after the gunmen swept into Westgate, store owners are finally allowed to see for themselves what's left of their property. And they are horrified. There's blood everywhere, there are bullets everywhere. There, there are sh gunshots at mannequins for crying out loud. Um, it's, 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 uh, it's horrific. Mushiri Wahome's company runs more than half a dozen stores inside Westgate. They weren't just damaged, they were looted. There was uh, uh, an attempt uh, by whatever parties uh, to raid the cash tills, to raid the safes. There is no question about it um, because uh, in our view, uh, it was a gunfight in there. It was a war in there. It had nothing to do with cash. Kenya's government has vowed to set up a committee comprising representatives from the stores, the security agencies and government to get Westgate working again. Let's not get the terrorists to win because that's what they intended. They intended us to be afraid. We sit back in our homes and we cannot come back to the malls and, and start, you know, uh, you know uh, leading on our lives as normal as possible. But eight days on from the attack, many who had businesses at Westgate say they are still being kept in the dark. Store owners say they have no idea when the mall will reopen. They are not even sure Westgate can be restored. They're still waiting for a full report on the structural damage that was inflicted during the siege. What will it take to bring it back? Um, the, the biggest question in mind is, is, it, is the building structurally sound? Until someone tells us that, um, we won't be getting in there. Forensic experts are still picking through the rubble of the siege. It is not clear how many bodies are still buried here. Kofam Renje, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.